Yo, 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 planet Earth. It's your boy, Rod, SideQuest, back with another video. So today is November 10th, which is my brother's 35th birthday. Also, my friend from elementary school, right, is coming to Thailand for the first time today. I'll be meeting him in an hour at Suwana Boom Airport. I've known this guy since fourth grade. We knew each other from nine to 18 years old, and we haven't seen each other in 10 years. We linked up on Instagram, and he reached out to me, and now he's coming out here. We're gonna go to Krabby, we might go to James Mon Island, I'm just gonna show him around Bangkok and I'm gonna try and get him on the vlogs. So come along, let's go meet him. All right guys, I've just left the Yellow Line train station, Huamak, and I'm going towards the airport rail link. And there's a little sky track to take you there, but then you'll have to get off on the right side over there and then walk across some street, but it's okay. It's really not that bad. But it is nice living off the Yellow Line and then being able to go directly and cheaply to the airport, Suwanaboom specifically. So keep that in mind when you guys consider living out here. Now I'm coming towards the little exit of the Skywalk. Take a right look over here, or excuse me. Now I'm coming towards the exit of the Yellow Line Skywalk. There's an elevator, here's a little escalator to come up, here's the stairs, and over to the left side, we'll be crossing those train tracks, and when those cars are parked, that's where you'll be walking towards that direction, and then that way we can get to the airport railing. Now we're coming up towards the little walkway to the airport railing. I've taken this walkway many times to go to Swanaboom and then get a connecting flight out of Thailand, whatnot. So remember, it's super convenient, especially, look, there's a whole bunch of condo buildings right here, just right next to the Huang Max station. So you can already see that people are conveniently taking this straight to the airport rail link, and it's not even close in the city center. Then continuing our little walk towards the airport rail link, over there in the far distance, that little blue sign, that will be the entrance where you can take the stairs and the escalator up towards the airport rail link, which is right there. And you can see people, the workers, commuters, parking their cars right here, which I do believe it is free parking, but remember, I personally think it is a mistake to own a vehicle in Bangkok as an expat. Motorbike makes sense. Car, way too much of a hassle. Now approaching the entrance, and look, even on the sign it says only 14 minutes to Swanaboom Airport, the fastest way to the airport. So keep in mind, guys, that the public transportation is always your fastest way when coming out here to Bangkok, Thailand. Cars are not the way. Now in the airport rail link, be very quiet because this is the quiet train. People are about their business when they go into the airport. BTS, MRT, way louder here. Dead silent. It almost reminds me of trains in Japan. I wonder if the trains in Taiwan will be this quiet. We'll see. So now it is 10.40 a.m., which is the same time that my friend should be arriving at Suwanabu. So I think I planned this out very perfectly. My military skills are still coming in handy when it comes to punctuality. We've just now arrived at Suwanabu Airport. Now it's gonna be a mad dash to get out of here. Let's see what we can see. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, okay, I think it's the morning crowd. That's why it's not too busy still. That's all right. Nice, nice. Oh, what a lovely, lovely ride. Now inside Swanabum Airport, take a look at this. Mm. Really, really nice entryway, straight from the airport rail link. My friend should be arriving somewhere in that direction. And of course, Right when you get off the airport rail link, there's a 7-Eleven straight ahead on the right side. Remember guys, here's a pro tip. Whenever you're traveling and flying, especially the long distance, one of the best foods to bring or buy at the airport is bananas, okay? They're nutrient dense, they're filling, and they're also gonna keep you hydrated. So remember, don't eat the junk food. Try and eat the bananas. Sorry, I love chips. It's more of a reminder for myself. Check this out, I just got a ham and cheese croissant. Oh, I messed up. So check this out. I just got a spinach and cheese croissant from 7-Eleven, 44 baht. And I know what I said in the previous clip, but guys, I had a carrot with mixed berry smoothie this morning and ginger root. So I can indulge a little bit. Oh my goodness, I almost forgot to show you guys the croissant. Here's what we're working with. Take a little bite for you guys. Mm. Yummy. Banging. For real, it's really good. Mm. Now I'm over here at the waiting area for my friend, but little of the workers were mad at me because I wasn't uh, standing in the correct area. I didn't have my passport, so I can't go into the actual area over here where the passengers are just now coming from. So you have to stay in like a little secluded area so that way you don't get confused. Eh, it is what it is. It is now 11, 12 a.m. I'm not sure if my friend is at baggage claim or if I already passed him, but what I do know is that he has not hit me up, so he probably does not have internet on his phone. So I'm a little concerned, I'm a little concerned because I don't believe that he knows or connected to Wi-Fi at any of the international airports, Hong Kong, or the one in Boston, or the one here. So, it is what it is, but I'll find him eventually. So my friend gave me a video call. I was able to get in touch with him. He was saying that he was having some issues connecting to the Wi-Fi, something with the incompatibility of his phone. Not sure what's up with that. 
but still waiting for him. I'm not sure where he's at, but he got through customs. Planet Earth. I have now just met him with my friend. He's currently in the bathroom changing from his traveling clothes to just some Thailand appropriate gear. So I'm going to ask him if he's okay, if I could get some clips with him. And uh, well, I just want to show him, you guys. So we'll see. Planet Earth. Here is my friend Marcio. We met each other when we were in fourth grade, when we were nine years old. And then we haven't seen each other in over 10 years since 2014. Marcio, how do you like uh, the Thailand airport so far? It's pretty wonderful, man. Like, it's just... I'm still like taking everything all in and like I feel like everything you need is here like to get started with your journey so I'm loving it. Awesome. Well guys, thanks for joining us. Take care. We'll see you in the next one. Love you. Bye.